challenges facing conservation science is just the fact that the world is changing so rapidly. And it's going to be challenging our ideas of what management and policy mean. Uh, we can't just be playing catch up all the time. Managing, for example, fisheries in light of climate change and ocean acidification is going to be very different from the way we have traditionally managed fisheries. We haven't figured out exactly what that means yet. There are a lot of people that are thinking about it and working on it. Um, and the bottom line really is, how do we maintain the functioning of important ecological systems so that they can continue to provide the benefits that we want and need in light of all the changes that are underway? That's huge. And it's not just um, a hypothetical question. It actually has very real meaning because the life support system of the planet is really on the line. And especially for poor people around the world, the opportunity to have adequate nutrition, to have meaningful jobs, to have uh, clean water, to have uh, a chance to have um, a dignified life is very much tied to uh, the health of the ecosystems on which we are all dependent. So this is, there's a lot riding on this and it's a big challenge and one that we have to embrace. NatureServe is playing a very important role in helping bring a standardized methodology to uh, the job of describing what's there and how it's changing. That's invaluable so that people aren't working at cross purposes and talking about different things and seeing patterns that are actually just an accident of different taxonomies or different uh, ways of categorizing things. So having that basic information enables communities or agencies to be making smarter decisions about investments uh, that are informed by what do we actually know, not what do we just think might be happening. So that's, that's really useful and very, very important.